Okay, I hope this is going to make you smile. Some kids in town are about to head back to school on August 3rd. If you happen to be one of those and you're kind of not so eager to think about summer coming to an end, that's okay. We're going to make you smile this morning and we're going to invite you out to a very special first day of school because we have two representatives from Chattanooga Preparatory School here, or do you say preparatory? Preparatory. Preparatory. Mm -hmm. This is Diamond Kelly. She's the principal, so of course I'm going to defer to her. Next mm -hmm. to her is Brad Scott, who is the CEO. So nice to see you both. Thank Good you to for see you. Us. Thank August you for having 3rd. us. August 3rd. That's August an early school start. Uh, and you want the kids, the boys, to walk in with a real big smile on their faces. So we what do, do you do? So with? every year, um, first day of school, this is an exciting time. I know I get excited. We have teachers in the building right now that are warming up, getting ready, classes ready, um, professional development. Um, and we want our boys to feel that excitement too. So we have what's called the Chattanooga 300. Uh, we invite community members, mentors, parents, friends, everybody out to cheer our boys on for their very first day of school. I love that you're using the phrase, our boys. You're not saying our students, you're <laughs> saying our boys, because that's the whole purpose of the school, right, Brad, is to make sure that those boys in all ways of their character development are getting what they need. Absolutely. When Chattanooga Prep was founded in 2018 by our founders, Ted and Kelly Allen, that was the vision to prepare the young men of tomorrow, the leaders of tomorrow. We believe our young men are scholars, as we sometimes call them, uh, our future doctors, lawyers, community leaders here in Chattanooga. And it's our job to prepare them academically and socially for whatever comes their way post high school. We are a college for all school. Uh, we believe that uh, post-secondary college and post-secondary education is really important for building the leaders of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So that's our goal. And on the first day, I, I, I sometimes tell folks it's like the start of a Tennessee football game when, <laughs> when everyone's in orange cheering on the football team as they go into Neyland Stadium. This is very similar. Yeah. Uh, the community comes together, 1849 Union Avenue, cheers on our young men as they enter into their first day of school. We want them to feel special, but we also want the community to see that these are the future leaders. Yeah. 480 of them. 480. That is an exciting student body. I mean, I'm sure when they first had the idea a few years back, they were hoping hoping it would take off, but that's a large student body, and that's just what, 6th through 11th grade? 6th through 11th grade, 480, um, and next year at full capacity, we'll have our first graduating class, will be 550 students in our building. So you've been there for these five years. Uh, as the principal, you watch them walk the hallways, right. and you <laughs> hear them tell their corny jokes and have their good days and their bad, but do you ever get tired of watching them mature? Oh, definitely not. Um, I think it's an honor and a privilege. Um, several of those boys, when I was a classroom teacher, were students of mine. And so I've gotten a chance to see them go through elementary school, middle school, and eventually and now high school. Do talk to me as from a teacher's perspective, you can speak to it quite well, the difference in the way boys and girls learn. It's a true thing. It really is. And we get a chance to cater our curriculum, cater our classroom setup, cater our schedules to boys. Um, so our young men, they come in, um, we're able to give them extra English classes, extra math classes. They take PE every day. Oh, that's um, good. Yes. So they get a chance to burn off some of that energy. Mm -hmm. um, we encourage and we teach our teachers how to make sure that our boys are engaged. We are very competitive. Um, even the leadership team, we're very competitive. So mm -hmm. we get a chance to model that um, for our boys because they are competitive, competitive as well. You know, you can't, you have 480. There are mm -hmm. far more boys and girls than that out there who will be in school uh, this upcoming school year. And school by its very nature brings challenges. Mm -hmm. And as a parent, I think sometimes you wanna kind of wrap your kids up and try to make the challenges less difficult for them to walk through. Sometimes you do your kids a disservice though in that, wouldn't you think, because you, to the point you're making about your school being competitive, mm -hmm. you want everyone to reach their potential, not necessarily have an easy day. That's true. Um, and we believe that our four walls are safe walls for our boys. Um, so it gives us an opportunity to teach mm -hmm. the right way. And we provide extracurricular activities. So through athletics, through clubs, 
our coaches, our club leaders are mm -hmm. instilling in our young men, mm -hmm. leadership values, character values, but also telling them, for example, our sports, that you're a student before you're an athlete. Mm -hmm. Like no one plays any of our sports without having at least a 3.0 GPA. That's great. Uh, good character in the classroom. So as our football team starts in a few weeks, our basketball team, uh, we are instilling those leadership values above the classroom on our fields and in our courts and in our clubs. So when we all set our alarm clocks for early <laughs> in the morning on August 3rd and you think about those boys having to get up and get their teeth brushed and out the door, class starts at 8? Uh, we will start the event at 745. Okay, early. 745 nice. at 1849 Union Avenue. And what is it you call it again? Chattanooga 300. Chattanooga 300. You can go to our website, chattanoogaprep.com. There's more information there about the event, the time it starts, the address, and also okay. ways you can help us as a, a school. What is the 300? You said Chattanooga 300. We're expecting at least 300 <laughs> gotcha. community members okay. out there supporting So if boys. Chattanooga wants to see the future leaders of tomorrow of our community, come out. Okay. You said we, They said they're competitive, so the challenge is on. 300 of you or more. Yes, or more. challenge is on. Up and out the door. <laughs> Thank you both Thank so, you so much. much. I hope it's a great, great school year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.